do. They have no idea that God allowed them to be here on purpose because he got a purpose for your life. Apostle, how can you say that? Because the Bible tells me that God got a purpose for you. If you look up under the microscope, you got millions and billions of sperm. So when your mama and your daddy came together out of a million sperms, how did Lawanda get here? Think about it. It could have been some, another sperm and somebody else could have got here. But why did God choose you? But the world would try to tell you you're not important. Because you're not, you're not light-skinned. Your hair's not long. You're not a, 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 a brick house. You're not intelligent. You're not sophisticated enough. See, the world put parameters on us. And God said, I'm trying to let you know. They trying to shape you to be something that I never called you to be. This is why it's very important for us to read the word of God. Because when you read the word of God, it's going to give you the instructions of who God has called you to be. And see, you would know what God called you to do something because your mind would tell you, I can't do that. When you say, I can't do that, that let you know that's what you're supposed to be doing. God would never call you to do something that you can do by yourself. I'm going to say that again. God ain't going to never call you to do something that you can do by yourself. See, the world in the world eyes, you got to fit the strip. You got to come from the best family. You got to come from a, a family of money. You got to come for well, everybody smart, everybody intelligent, everybody living in Green Island Hill. And then the world tells us now you are somebody. But if I live in East Wind, if I live in an apartment, the world would tell me I ain't no good. Come on here. If, if my mama was a go-go dancer and, and, and my daddy working, worked in a, a construction place, so according to the world's uh, uh, parameters, that I would not be anything in life. But you got this lawyer and this doctor, the world will say, oh, you're going to be a smart person. And God said, see, I created you because I want to let you know I don't go by what the world go by. I don't go by that. He said, I go by somebody who submit their self to me. I go by somebody who will submit their mind to me. That you will submit your soul to me. That you will submit your body to me. He said, this is why I'm asking you to say, Lord, help my mind. Because see, when you look on the TV and they talk about this virus, he said, because the world is trying to change your, 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 your the makeup, the way that you see things. The world trying to, uh, the, to try to shape you just because you got the best education, it don't mean that you're better than me. Just because you went through hardship and I didn't go through hardship, that don't mean that the person that, went, that haven't went through nothing, that don't mean that that person is better than me. See, things have happened to us and we feel less than because of what happened to us. And God said we have hindered ourselves. See, God said that we got to stop believing the lie. He said because you look at your bank account and you say you broke based on your bank account. He said you look at what's in your pocketbook and you say whether or not you're good enough based on your pocketbook. Everybody can't drive a Mercedes. But just because I drive a Ford don't mean that you're better than me because you drive a Mercedes. You see what I'm saying? We pick and choose. We say, oh, that's the white folk neighborhood and I live over here. What does that mean? God said we have picked up these mindsets according to the world's standards and we have dummied down our God. We dummied down ourselves. And God said your mind has been sick. He said because I'm allowing you to understand, I'm going to turn it upside down to let you know that I'm going to bring up those who men have called out, those who men said that ain't nothing, and I'm going to raise them up. You got to understand when you know the ways of God, God want to challenge. He want those who people called out. He want those who man said they ain't going to never be nothing. He want those who said you stupid, you dumb, you ain't good enough, you ain't smart enough, you ain't come from the right kind of family. God say those are the people who I'm going to raise up. You got to understand even your family members won't even believe you. The Bible says Jesus' brothers begin to say, if you're the savior of the world, won't you go on? Won't you go on and show yourself that Passover? His own blood brothers did.
did not understand who he was. And God said, you got to understand, 